What's up everyone? So I'm back to show y'all what it looks like to bench with the Rep Fitness Cambridge Swiss Bar or just any Cambridge Swiss bar. There are three different angles for this particular bar. And if you stick around to the end, I'm gonna show why I like this bar over the Titan Fitness bar. Yes, I know that there is a V2 now, um, and I'll touch a little bit on that. But first, let's just get right into benching and showing you what this looks like real quick. Now I'm gonna start with the widest grip, which actually has the two and a half inch drop. Now I'm gonna move into the middle grip. So this one is at a different height of the actual weight, obviously. Finally, we have the most narrow grip. Honestly, I don't even know if I can do this with 45. Definitely more tricep focused, uh, but yeah, let's see. <laughs> So that's what it looks like uh, to bench with the Cambridge Swiss bar. Now the angles on this bar uh, to bench and what's so great about it is that it does make it a bit easier on your shoulders um, so that they're not in such an awkward position um, like, like they are when you're benching. Um, so it is supposed to be nicer on your shoulders, a bit more forgiving. Oh man, <laughs> you would think that I did like 20 reps. Anyways, that's it. Um, if you don't want to stick around uh, for the time fitness comparison, you can drop off here. So real quick, I did want to talk about why it is that I like this bar over my time fitness Cambridge multi grip bar. It's a lot more forgiving as you have more space with this uh, to rack and, and unrack. Rep Fitness made this bar and I have the PR4000 by Rep Fitness, so I'm sure they kept all of this in mind. As far as the safeties go, the other one would actually get caught here um, and it would kind of throw me off. Now the next part is the fact that this is rounded tubing. Surprisingly, it does make a bit of a difference. It's a little bit more comfortable, especially when you have a decent arch going. Not that my arch is too crazy excessive or anything like that but you can definitely feel it on the chest just something to keep in mind let's talk about the looks too i mean the chrome sleeves it just looks nice it kind of makes this whole setup look a bit more put together and intentional because the weight stories are chrome it, it just looks good the one thing that the time fitness bar does have over this bar two deficit grips where the rep fitness one only has the one that's kind of the downside i guess like i mentioned before i bought this bar because of the actual deficit so i guess it, it kind of does defeat the purpose but not really because <laughs> i still enjoy this bar much more um, and I actually use it i i stopped using the time fitness one to be honest this one is not as clunky it's not as bulky it's easier to move around it's just a little bit less awkward overall let me grab it real quick so y'all can see it but this is what i mean it does have two different grips for the uh, deeper deficit bench now let me show you real, real quick what i meant about the safety straps now that i have it here All right, so actually that wasn't that bad. So maybe it's because I don't have any weight on it and it's easier for me to control. <laughs> Anyways, this on the old bar measures a little bit over 40 inches. From here to here, it's 41. So obviously that's why there's not much space. With the V2 version though, from Time Fitness, it looks like this to this ends up measuring around 39 and some change. Um, so they're definitely are giving you a bit more space, almost two inches. So it'll definitely be easier to unrack, re-rack during a bench. So if you have been thinking about it, this is a bit more inexpensive than the Rep Fitness one. It might be a good alternative. The last thing that I would mention is that there is no eye bolt here. And no, the V2 version does not have the eye bolt. Does it matter? Probably not. I have not used the eye bolt yet. Um, with the Rep Fitness one, um, and I've had that for a couple months now. I just haven't had a need for it, and I haven't had that. Yeah. Thanks again for watching. This is your boy, Alj, and I'll catch you next time.